All right, we are um, working on the work together for 6.3. Um, I actually have my book open to page 169 because I just want to make sure I'm doing it right. Um, and I would recommend that you guys do the same thing as you're working through your assignment. So the instructions here say, on April 30th of the current year, Fix It Now has completed the trial balance columns and adjustment columns of the worksheet. Extend the up-to-date balances to the balance sheet or income statement columns. Total each column. So balance sheet columns and income statement columns. So if you remember, the balance sheet columns for us are going to be columns 1 um, through drawing, 1 through 8. Okay, they're all going to go into the balance sheet columns. So I'm going to go over here and just tab over and just recopy everything. Okay, here you need to do some subtracting. So I'm going to do 228 minus 153, 75. And here we need to do some, do some subtracting also. 375 minus 250. Still moving. This is when you can make entry errors, so you may want to slow down. I think I'm doing okay though. Okay, so those are my balance sheet columns. Now for the income statement. Um, remember, income summary, we haven't filled anything in yet, so if it's blank, leave it blank. And here we're just going to copy everything over. Whoops. Cash short and over. Okay, here, if you look, um, this is in my debit, so I need to put it in the debit here too. Pointing out some mistakes I made the first time I went through this. Okay, now we need to total. I usually grab my graphing calculator at this point, but we'll grab this so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to total the income statement debit column first. So I have 466, 125, 189, 153, 550. 1483. Next, oh, I don't need a calculator for this one. I think I'm good. Okay, now I'm going to total the balance sheet debit column. Oops. 8387, 8387, Okay, at this point, all of these numbers are different, which makes me a little nervous. But when I go back to check the problem in the book, um, that is also, they're all different. So we have our single rule right there, and we've totaled everything underneath it. So I'm going to grade step one, and it looks like I'm good. Yay! Moving on. Okay, the instructions now say calculate and record the net income. Hold on, let me turn that off. Sorry about that. Um, it says to calculate and record the net income or net loss. Label the amount in the title in the account title column. Total the income statement and balance sheet columns. Okay, so let's try. Um, if you remember, this right here, oh, first let's label this net income. Um, this is where we take the sales number, 2160 and we subtract the total in the income statement debit column. 1483, 677, 677, and that goes right here too. Okay, 
next, <clears throat> we add these together. 1483 plus, and it should be the same as our sales. 2160. Okay, add this down. 2160. Add this down. 8387. And we have made a mistake. Add this down. Oh, no, we haven't. Sorry. We're good. 7710 plus 677 should be 8387. Okay, I'm going to look at the book, make sure I didn't make any mistakes. We have our single rule, our double rule, and I think we're good. These match, and these match. Now, once I did have these two boxes match, and these two match, but I made a subtraction error, and this number was wrong, so I still got it wrong, but... There you go. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the on your own, but at this point you can push pause or stop it and go do your um, application assignment. That's fine with me, but I'm going to go ahead and finish. So follow along if you'd like or um, move on if, you, if you're ready. Okay, I'm going to copy everything over. Subtract. 476 minus 236, 240. This one I can probably do in my head, but just to show you the numbers, 520. Last one. Okay, that's all that goes in the balance sheet. Now we skip that line and move on to our income statement. Sales, and then all of our expenses. Okay, 130, remember, is a debit, so it stays in the debit column here. 236 is another debit. Okay. So we've got everything filled in, now we need to total our columns. I'm going to total the income statement debit column first. 9, 10. Two, eight, five, six. Nothing to total there, it's our sales. Keep totaling 13,600. Last one. 15,482. Oops, two. Okay, all the numbers are different. That's not a huge deal, so let's move on. Cool, we got it right. Next step. Oops. So remember, what we put in this blank is total sales minus our net income debit. So I've got 8,280 minus 2,856, 5424. And that goes right here, too. Okay, make sure you've added and subtracted correctly. And go ahead and add these together. 8,280. Carry this down, carry this down, and then add these together. 15,482 plus 5,424, 2906. These numbers need to match and these numbers need to match. If they don't, just go look for your mistake. You've made one. Um, what else can I tell you? Um, I think that's it. <laughs> All right. Yay. All right, 
you can do your application problem now. Good luck.